celebrations in the streets of Sterot, a southern Israeli town bordering Gaza, after their government confirmed the death of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. The Israeli military released drone footage of Sinwar's body found in a house in southern Gaza after a ground operation targeting other Hamas militants. <laughs> Sinwar had topped Israel's most wanted list. Sin is the mastermind of the October 7th attacks that triggered the Israel-Hamas war that has raged on for over a year, claiming the lives of more than 41,000 people in Gaza. His death is a crippling blow to Hamas, with its leadership ranks and fighting forces greatly reduced. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appealed to the people in Gaza saying this could be the end of the war if Hamas surrenders and all the hostages they took last October are returned. This war can end tomorrow. It can end if Hamas lays down its arms and returns our hostages. Hamas is holding 101 hostages in Gaza, who are citizens of 23 countries. And until Israel gets the outcome it wants, its troops have been ordered to continue its operations in Gaza. International leaders have called Sinwar's death a turning point in the conflict. US President Joe Biden saying it was a good day for the world and emphasised the importance of ending the war. Now is the time to move on. Move on to move toward a ceasefire and Gaza. Make sure that we move in the direction that we're going to be in a position to make things better for the whole world. It's time for the war to end and bring this hostage home. A call echoed by the families of Israeli hostages. It is critical that all attention is focused now on achieving the goal of the deal, which will secure the release of our son Omar and the rest of the hostages. It's unclear if Hamas will lay down arms and seek a deal with Israel. The group is yet to comment on their leader's death. But security analysts believe with Sinwar, a staunch opposer to releasing the hostages, removed from the negotiation table, a deal could now be possible. Many are hopeful that with Sinwar out of the way, uh, new leadership is going to want to find a way to end this conflict. Uh, and that means releasing the hostages potentially in exchange for an end to the war. Uh, so uh, it will depend on, on who, who rises in place of Sinwar. Uh, and then, of course, on the Israeli side, um, this isn't a sure bet either. Many world leaders have called for a two-state solution with a reformed Palestinian authority to create lasting peace in the Middle East, an idea Israel does not support. But with pressure to end the war increasing on Israel, from both within and outside the country, Sinwar's death has brought the region the closest it's been to a ceasefire in a year. James Lin and Rosie Greninger for Taiwan Plus.